Tears flowed as the filmmaker being sued by Sir Robert Jones talked about how denigrated she felt by his column, calling for a Māori Gratitude Day. Renee Maihi has taken the witness stand on day four of the trial to defend a petition where she called for Sir Robert's knighthood to be revoked. The column called for a Māori Gratitude Day, saying Māori should bring Pākehā breakfast out of gratefulness for existing, which Ms Maihi says created an image of her people as slaves. Mediana Johnson was there. Renee Maihi was overcome with emotion when telling the court how she felt reading Sir Robert's column. I identified my entire race and suggested they should become servants for a day for Pākehā. Regardless of whether the suggestion was made seriously, I found the imagery of servitude and slavery that the column invoked to be offensive and racist. Ms Maihi says while she accepted that Sir Robert wasn't seriously suggesting Māori bring Pākehā breakfast in bed, it was the imagery of servitude the column evoked that made her angry. It upset and angered me as a Māori woman and the mother of a Māori son. The idea that someone would ridicule, belittle, disrespect and denigrate my son, my ancestors, my friends, my whānau, my people was unacceptable to me. Ms Maihi says she's experienced racism throughout her life, including being terrorised by her mother's Pākehā partner, who cut the strings on her guitar because she was playing a Māori song, and being racially taunted at school when she was 10. It's become clear to me, as an Indigenous person, person that racism is a dangerous and potentially life-threatening mindset. Ms Maihi says Sir Robert does not have the mana befitting of a knighthood. Her lawyer, Davy Salmon, is using the defences of truth, honest opinion and qualified privilege. He says that Ms Maihi does not accept that her petition damaged Sir Robert's reputation because it is already generally bad, based on his publicly expressed views on Māori and other ethnic groups. It is clear in the light of day applying 20 norms and even before we come to expert evidence on the nuances and precise limits and delineations of racism and hate speech, that what was said by Sir Robert in the early days could not properly be said now without immediately being described as racist. The courtroom was packed yet again, with the judge having to stop proceedings on more than one occasion so more seats could be found for members of the public. After court was adjourned for the day, Ms Maihi was given a round of applause from people in the public gallery, and a wahine stood and sang a waiata tautoko for Ms Maihi. The cross-examination of Renee Maihi will continue tomorrow. Dr Moana Jackson is expected to take the stand as an expert witness later in the trial. Mo te hōtaka o te Johnson, DNA.